Impress your friends and family with these remarkable facts and startling truths about the one and only Norway, the land of the midnight sun. We have all heard of how beautiful it is. The fjords, mountains, and Vikings and northern lights of Norway are known throughout the world, as is the capitalism with a conscience philosophy. But other than the obvious, how much do you really know about this Scandinavian country? 1. The world's longest road tunnel is in Norway. At an astonishing 15 miles long, the Lairdal Tunnel is the world's longest. Costing 1 billion Norwegian kroner to build, the tunnel connects the small communities of Lairdal and Orland. Every 6 kilometers there is a cave to separate sections of road. The lighting varies throughout the tunnel and caves to break routine and provide a varied view. If you drive through the tunnel, consider taking the snow road back. It's one of Norway's national scenic routes and a spectacular drive, albeit closed for half of the year, so plan accordingly. 2. Norway is home to some of the world's most beautiful fjords, including the Geranger Fjord and the Neroy Fjord, both UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Geranger Fjord, located in southwestern Norway near the coastal town of Alisund, is one of the country's most popular tourist attractions. Known for its crystalline waters, verdant cliffs and dramatic waterfalls, such as the Seven Sisters and the Suter, it presents a spectacle of nature that is both serene and majestic. Meanwhile, the Neroy Fjord, a branch of the larger Sogne Fjord, is one of the world's narrowest and most beautiful fjords. It stretches approximately 18 kilometers and is just 500 meters wide at its narrowest point. 3. The country is located in northern Europe, occupying the western portion of the Scandinavian peninsula. It is bordered by Sweden to the east, Finland and Russia to the northeast, and the North Sea and Atlantic Ocean to the west. 4. Income and wealth of all residents is on public record. Everyone living in Norway has three figures taken from their annual tax return published, their annual income, income tax paid, and total wealth. Yes, really. Prior to 2013, this data was completely open and searchable by anyone. That has since changed, though, and now a person is able to see who has looked up their own data. The open nature of this data is also one of the reasons why it's so easy for Norwegian media to come up with their annual lists of Norway's richest people and the country's biggest taxpayers. 5. The world's most remote island is a Norwegian territory. But it may surprise you to learn that it's not in the north. It's actually on the other side of the world. Administered by Norway since 1929, Bouvet Island in the South Atlantic Ocean is planet Earth's most remote island. It is located approximately 1,700 kilometers north of the coastline of Antarctica and 2,600 kilometers away from the South African coast. The closest inhabited land is the British Overseas Territory of Tristan da Cunha, more than 2,000 kilometers away. Tristan is also an extremely remote place with no airport. Norway designated the 49-kilometer squared island and its territorial waters a nature reserve in the 1970s. While no one lives on the island, Norwegian authorities do maintain an unmanned weather station. This means it's easy to check the weather there from Norway or anywhere else in the world, for that matter. Because of Bouvet's remoteness and the lack of an airport, visiting the island is a no-go. Unless you're a scientist on a research expedition, this is one island you'll likely never get to visit. 6. Norway has a land border with Russia. This one will have you scratching your head and checking a map. Although there is just one road crossing, the Norway-Russia land border is actually 120 miles long. The Storskog crossing on the E-105 highway is the northernmost road border crossing in Europe. In September 2017, a new tunnel and bridge opened on the Norway side of the border, decreasing travel time for those crossing the border. By the way, that's something many people do. Norwegians cross over to buy cheaper fuel for their cars, while Russians cross over to buy better quality goods in Kirkens. Much of the border is defined by a river and cuts through dense forest for the majority of the route. Distinctive posts colored bright yellow on the Norway side and red-green striped on the Russian side mark the border. It's important to pay attention if you're out hiking in these remote areas because taking even a couple of steps to encircle the posts is illegal. 7. Norway is home to hell. Yes, really. A little over 1,000 Norwegians can say they live in hell. The small village is within walking distance of Trondheim's International Airport and even has its own train station. The train station is in itself something of a tourist attraction. You will not often spot tourists snapping a photo of themselves in front of the station sign but there are more to hell than just the name. Take a short walk from the station via a signed forest trial and you'll find some crude rock carvings of reindeer, believed to be around 5,000 years old. 
There's also a hotel and a small shopping center among other local facilities. 8. Norway introduced salmon sushi to Japan. While sushi is absolutely a Japanese invention, they did not use salmon in the dish until it was suggested by a Norwegian delegation in 1980s. Despite the distance between the countries, Japan seemed a natural fit for Norwegian seafood. Japan's fish stocks were suffering from overfishing, but demand from consumers was high. The deals created all those years ago have helped to boost Norwegian seafood exports. In Japan, Norwegian salmon sushi is one of the most popular dishes, especially among younger people. It took time to happen, though, as the Japanese were originally concerned with the health impact of eating raw salmon. But they got over that, and Norwegian exports haven't looked back, and seafood is now one of Norway's biggest industries. 9. Jotunheimen National Park, which translates to Home of the Giants, has 27 of Norway's 30 highest peaks, including Galhopagen, the highest in northern Europe. 10. Kirkens is farther east than all of Finland. In fact, the small Arctic town is as far east as Cairo. Don't believe it? Check a map! At only 9 miles from the Russian border, Kirkens is one of Norway's most interesting places from a social perspective. As it's so close to the border, there is a big Russian influence. You'll see bilingual street signs and plenty of shops advertising offers and deals primarily to Russian visitors. Because of the number of non-locals spending time in the town, English is very much a third language in this small town. Most international visitors have heard of the name because Kirkens is the point at which the Hurtigruten coastal ferry turns around to continue its epic multi-day voyage back to Bergen. Most international visitors continuing their journey on board have around three hours to explore the city. Attractions of note include a World War II bunker that's open to visitors by prior arrangement, the Borderlands Museum, part of Varanger Museum, and the church pictured above. 11. The population of bears is higher than people in Svalbard. Svalbard is a Norwegian island that is incredibly close to the North Pole. Of course, the island is remote and you will find a lot of wilderness here. Expect to see polar bears, tundra, glaciers and more. It is a beautiful nature paradise. Only 2,000 people live here and you don't even need a visa to come and live here. However, it can get unbearably cold so be sure to dress and pack well. 12. There are over 400,000 lakes here. One of the top interesting facts about Norway is that you will find hundreds of thousands of lakes here. Hornendalsvatnet is the deepest lake in all of Europe, as it is at least 1,500 feet deep. Anyone that loves water bodies will love coming to Norway. 13. There is equal pay for male and female footballers. Norway is working hard to eliminate the gender pay gap as well. A 2017 agreement between the country's football and players' associations made Norway the first to offer its women national team an equal salary. The even more inspiring thing? The men's national team all agreed to take a pay cut to help make this happen. 14. And Norway ranks high in terms of gender equality. Norway holds a high position in gender equality rankings, following closely behind Iceland and Sweden. With a score of 84.5%, Norway demonstrates its significant commitment to promoting gender equal rights. 15. There are two versions of the Norwegian language, or to be more precise, two written variants. Bokmal is used by the vast majority of the country, while Nynorsk is more popular in rural areas, particularly in the western fjord region. All school children learn both. National broadcaster NRK publishes news in both versions of the language, and all public authorities are required to offer forms and other documentation in both variants. 16. Want to learn some funny Norwegian phrases? Here you go. Aha bin inisa means to be determined and capable, but the literal translation is to have bones in your nose. Jeg har en hon a pluke med deg means to have an issue with someone that you want to discuss with them, but the sentence literally translates to I have a hen to pluck with you. Avairi fot bak an brunost literally translates to being born behind brown cheese, but it just means you're stupid. 17. Norway discovered America first. Well, not Norway per se, but Norse explorer Leif Erikson did reach the shores of Vinland, northern Newfoundland, about 500 years before Christopher Columbus. Like Columbus, it was a total accident. Leif thought he was sailing towards Greenland, but the winds blew his ship off course. 18. And Norway also has its own Statue of Liberty. Yet another connection between the land of the Vikings and the land of the free. It may have been a gift by the people of France to the people of the U.S., but the copper used to create the statue came from a mine in a small village called Viznes on Carmoy Island. To commemorate this, 
a miniature version of the Statue of Liberty was built in business, and there's significantly less queuing time to visit this one. 19. People still practice whaling in Norway. Norway practices whaling, and there is a quota for how much whaling can take place in the country. That is because seafood is a delicacy, and most people can't live without it. Many people put Japan under fire for this practice, but even Norway is guilty of it. 20. Modern and ancient skiing were invented in Norway. This one should come as no surprise, given the Norwegian obsession with skiing and their success at international level. Sander Norheim is said to be the father of modern skiing. In the late 19th century, he began using stiff ski bindings so he could swing and jump with less risk of falling. His new ski design, the Telemark Ski, led to the modern skis we know and love. But skiing itself goes much further back. An ancient rock carving at Rodoy in northern Norway shows that people used a form of skis to get around in the Norwegian mountains as long as 4,000 years ago. Finnmark is home to the oldest preserved ski ever found, at an incredible 2,300 years old. To top it off, many Norwegian words include ski and slalom originated right here in Norway. 21. Europe's biggest herd of wild reindeer lives here. Although it may surprise you to learn they don't live in the Arctic, the herd roam Hardanger Vida, Europe's biggest mountain plateau. The national park includes vast plateaus, lush valleys, high mountains, distant glaciers, waterfalls, and stunning fjords. The number of wild reindeer in winter totals around 25,000 animals, of which up to 7,000 are found on Hardanger Vida. For centuries, wild reindeer used to roam freely across Norway, but as a result of extensive hunting, they were driven into the mountainous areas of south-central Norway in the late 19th century. 22. Norway has a volcano. But don't panic, it's nowhere near the country's biggest cities and won't impact Norway's mainland if it were to erupt. That's because Norway's only active volcano is on the island of Jan Mayen in the Norwegian Sea. It's about halfway between Norway and Greenland, north of Iceland, and is considered together with Svalbard for administrative purposes by the government. Although no permanent residents live anywhere near the 7,306 feet Beeringberg volcano, research scientists regularly visit the island and even some cruise ships stop by. Would you dare to go there? Let us know in the comments below. 23. Norway isn't called Norway, at least not in Norwegian. Norway is the name of the country in the English language. In Norwegian, the country is called Norge. In the lesser used Nynorsk variety of Norwegian, the spelling is Noreg. In fact, the full name of the country is actually the Kingdom of Norway. In Norwegian, this is written as Kongeriket Norge or Kongeriket Noreg in Nynorsk. Other names for the country include Norvegen, Noruega, Norvegia, Norveg, and Norja. Meanwhile, the Norwegian language is known in Norway as Norsk. 24. Norway has several geothermal hot springs, especially on the remote Jan Mayen Island, adding to the diversity of the country's natural attractions. 25. Prikestolen, also known as the Pulpit Rock, is one of Norway's most visited natural attractions, offering spectacular views of the Lysfjord. 27. Norway gave the world the cheese slicer. You're welcome, world! The cheese slicer was invented way back in 1925 by Thor Bjorklund and has become a staple of all Scandinavian kitchens and many others around the world. While a lot of cheese is sold pre-sliced, many people still buy blocks of cheese and use the invention that has changed little in almost 100 years. 28. Oslo is Norway's most diverse city. Of the 648,000 people in Oslo, 190,000 were born to immigrants or are immigrants themselves. That's nearly 30% of the city's population, compared to around 15% in the country overall. The largest ethnic minority in Oslo is Pakistani, followed by immigrants from Sweden, Somalia, and Poland. The diversity of Oslo was among the many emerging topics addressed in the Norwegian TV youth drama Skam. It found fans across the world thanks to unofficial translations on YouTube. For many years, Oslo was Europe's fastest growing city in percentage terms, but that growth has begun to level off. During the first half of 2017, more people moved out of Oslo than moved in for the first time in several years. 29. Norway rocks the Winter Olympics Perhaps unsurprising given the facts we've discussed before, Norway is the world's most successful nation at the Winter Olympic Games. Despite having little more than 5 million residents, Norway has won more medals than any other country in Olympic history. Following the 2018 Games in South Korea, Norway's total medal haul stood at 368, including 132 golds from the 23 competitions. 
Their closest rivals in the table are the U.S. 305-105 and Germany 238-92. The country hosted the event twice, in 1952 in Oslo and in 1994 in Lillehammer. The legacy of the latter competition continues to this day, and the Norwegian Olympic Museum in Lillehammer is one of the country's most interesting museums. Another fun Olympic-related fact about Norway, King Olav V won an Olympic gold medal in sailing in 1928. He was an active sailor throughout his life and his reign. 30. The stunning northern lights, or aurora borealis, can be seen from many places in Norway, especially above the Arctic Circle during winter. 31. Norway isn't powered by oil. Sure, Norway's oil and gas industry has powered the economy, but it doesn't power the nation's homes. Around 98% of Norway's domestic power usage is drawn from hydroelectric power plants. Although Norway is only ranked ninth globally based on the percentage of domestic power sourced from renewable sources, the country actually generates more electricity than all of the eight countries ranked above them combined. While the Norwegian government says Norway will be carbon neutral by 2030, that only takes into account domestic emissions and not the much larger amount embedded in its oil and gas exports. The government has also tightened energy efficiency standards for buildings and has encouraged firms and homeowners to burn wood and other forms of biomass for heat and power instead of fossil fuels. 32. During the summer, the sun doesn't set. The sun stays all day and night during the summer as it never sets. For example, the sun will only set between 3 and 5 hours each day in May and July. However, the sun will not set in June for an hour. 33. In the winter, the sun never rises. In parts of Norway, the sun does not set in the summer season, and it does not rise during the winter. It is always dark, especially in the northern parts of the region. Anyone that loves the sun may struggle well here in the winter. Considering this fact, it's hard to imagine how it is the happiest country in the world. 34. The indigenous people of Norway are the Sami people. The original people that inhabited Norway were the Sami people. They have a unique language and their own capital with a parliament and many of them still live as reindeer herders. These people have lived in Norway for more than 10,000 years till now. 35. Norwegians prefer snooze to smoking. It is very difficult to be a smoker in Norway. For one, smoking has been banned in all public spaces since 2004, and then there's the cost. A pack of cigarettes will set you back about 12 euros. But snooze, a form of moist dipping tobacco that you place directly on your gums, is cheaper and better for those around you. Around 12% of Norwegians use snooze daily, compared to 11% who smoke. 36. Norway boasts the world's highest waterfall, the Vinufallet, with a total drop of 860 meters. 37. The colonel-in-chief of the Norwegian Kingsguard is a Scottish penguin. Wait, what? Yes, you heard right. Brigadier Sir Nils Olaf has held the title since 2005, but the involvement goes back to 1972, when the regiment adopted a penguin from Edinburgh Zoo and to the zoo's opening in 1913 when Norway presented it with its first king penguin. The name Nils Olav and ranks in the Norwegian military have been passed down through three king penguins since 1972. The current holder is Nils Olav III. It's not as unique as you may think. William Billy Windsor, a goat, served in the British Army, while Syrian brown bear Wojtek was enlisted in the Polish Army as a private and subsequently promoted to corporal. 38. No one knows how long Norway's coastline is. It's known throughout the world for its jagged mountains and stunning fjords, but believe it or not, no one knows for sure just how long Norway's epic coast is. The somewhat counterintuitive observation that the coastline of the landmass does not have a well-defined length is known as the coastline paradox. Because of the fractal nature of the coastline, you can only define its length by using units of a specific length. When the unit length differs, the total length differs, and the difference can be massive. Stretching all the way from the Oslo Fjord down to the sunny south, in and out of the many western fjords and then stretching out for many miles northward before bending around the top of the Scandinavian peninsula to meet with Russia, only one thing's for sure, it's very long. Arguably the best way to enjoy the Norwegian coastline, if you don't have your own boat that is, is by taking the full Hurtigruten coastal voyage from Bergen to Kirkens and back again. On the 12-day voyage, you'll get up close to some of the country's most iconic scenery. 39. Norway supplies London with a Christmas tree every year. And it's not just any tree. To say thank you for their help during World War II, the city of Oslo sends Britain a tree every Christmas. The tall Norwegian spruce from the Oslo forest is placed prominently in Trafalgar Square. 
The tree, decorated in a typical Norwegian style with white lights, provides a focal point for the carol singing festivities that take place on the square throughout the Christmas period. The Norwegian royal family and the government were hastily transported to London, where they managed to form a government in exile and organize the Norwegian war effort from afar. 40. Norway's capital wasn't always called Oslo. Founded in 1040, its name was originally spelt Anslo or Oslo. In 1624, after a great fire destroyed large parts of the city, the decision was made to move and rebuild it closer to Akershus Fortress. The move also involved changing the name to Christiania in honor of the ruling monarch King Christian IV. Between 1814 and 1905, the city existed as a co-official capital of the union between Norway and Sweden. In 1877, after the spelling reform, the city's name was altered to Christiania. It remained that way until 1925, when it returned to its original name, Oslo. The city also has a nickname, Tigerstaden, the City of Tigers, named so in 1870 by Norwegian writer Bjornstjern Bjornsson, who referred to the city as an inhospitable environment, cold and uninviting. There is a statue of a tiger outside Oslo Central Station in honor of the reference. 41. Norway has a royal family. The royal family dates back to the 12th century, and currently, Queen Sonja and King Harald V sit on the throne. The family has lived in Oslo in the royal palace since the 19th century. Of course, the king has no power, and it is the constitutional monarchy that they are a part of. 42. It is one of the happiest countries in the world. You will be happy to find Norway in the World Happiness Report as one of the top happiest countries in the world. There are many reasons for this, including the incredible economy and the government. However, even the outdoors and beautiful sceneries make it a worthwhile place to live. The overall happiness of the people is one of the things that Norway is famous for. 43. It has some of the most diverse natural landscapes. One of the top fun Norwegian facts is that it has some of the most diverse natural landscapes in the world. You will find snow-capped mountains, fjords, archipelago, wildlife, and much more. Anyone that loves the outdoors and natural beauty will find Norway to be incredibly serene. 44. Oslo is one of the most modern art hubs. Art lovers will find Oslo to be the modern art hub in the country. You will find art that includes Scandinavian influences and modern ones. You can explore the various art galleries to make the most out of your trip. These include the Acker Brieg Wharf District, the Norwegian National Gallery, the Munch Museum, and many others. 45. Norway is to become the first fur-free Nordic country. The country's government is pushing for some eco-friendly reforms with the goal of making Norway completely fur-free by 2025. Despite some opposition, fur farming is no longer a lucrative business in Norway, with consumers choosing faux instead. 46. Norway has the most electric cars. If you're ever sleepless in Oslo, instead of counting sheep, you could count the Tesla cars driving by. Norway has the highest number of electric cars per capita anywhere in the world, and besides the fact that electric cars are better for the environment, something Norwegians care deeply about, the government is also offering many perks to entice people to switch to electric. There are great tax deductions, charging your car is free, and you are exempt from paying tolls, at least in the Oslo area. The plan is to end sales of gasoline and diesel vehicles by 2025. 47. And they will soon have electric airplanes too. Electric airplanes may be a tad more complicated to pull off than electric cars, but Norway is making great progress. Avanor, the company that operates Norway's airports, is working with Rolls-Royce and Siemens on a hybrid fuel-electric plane model with the aim of making short-haul flights, up to 1.5 hours, entirely electric by 2040. 48. Women's football is quite popular in Norway. The Norwegian women's football team has been successful internationally, winning the UEFA European Women's Championship in 1987 and 1993, and the FIFA Women's World Cup in 1995. Norwegian women were granted the right to vote in 1913, ahead of many other countries, reflecting a country's progressive values. 49. Roald Dahl spoke Norwegian Writer Roald Dahl may have been born in Wales, but he was the son of Norwegian parents. He was best known for his children's short stories, most notably The BFG, James and the Giant Peach, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The last mention was inspired by Norway's most famous chocolate brand, Freya. Dahl is said to have taken inspiration for the story from the Freya Chocolate Factory. However, the BBC recently claimed Dahl was inspired by Cadbury running tasting tests at Dahl's boarding school in Derbyshire. Perhaps there's truth in them both. 50. The Nobel Peace Prize is awarded in Oslo. 
The Norwegian capital has been the proud venue of the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony every year, with just a few exceptions since 1901. The other Nobel Prizes in chemistry, literature, physics and physiology or medicine are awarded in Stockholm, Sweden. That's due to the wishes of Alfred Nobel, the Swedish chemist who bequeathed his wealth to create the awards upon his death. No one's quite sure why he chose Norway for the Peace Prize. Located between the City Hall and the Acker Brieg development, the Nobel Peace Center chronicles the fascinating history of the award and usually has a special exhibition on the current holder of the prize. It opened in 2005. If you've ever been to Stockholm, it's worth stopping by the Nobel Center there too for the complete story. 51. The world's longest wooden staircase is in Norway. The wooden staircase in Florley was first built for power plant workers in 1916, but today it's a popular hiking destination. Situated on the shores of Lysfjord and close to other sites like the Kirag Boulder, this is the perfect place to get a bird's eye view. There's just a small matter of 4,444 stairs to get there. 52. The first UN Secretary General was Norwegian. In fact, Norway was a founding member of the United Nations back in 1945 when 850 delegates from 50 nations met in San Francisco. Those delegates discussed the proposals worked out by the representatives from China, the Soviet Union, the UK and the US from August to October the previous year. The pragmatic and determined Trivge Lee, who served as Norwegian foreign minister during the Second World War years of exile in London, took up the post as Secretary General during the post-war years from 1946 to 1952. He passed away in 1968 at the age of 72. Today, with the 2011 edition of South Sudan, there are 193 UN member states, including all undisputed independent states, apart from the Vatican City. The current and ninth Secretary General is the Portuguese politician Antonio Guterres. That's all for this video. Let us know in the comments which country you would like to see next time.